When I started studying the Bible, I didn't start studying the Bible to preach. I didn't start studying the Bible to get a message or to perfect a ministry. Nor did I start studying scriptures so that I might be able to argue theologically with those who are astute in scriptures to prove my ecclesiastical and theological persuasions. I started reading the Word of God because I was drowning and I needed desperately to find a lifeline or a reason to keep living. I started reading the Word of God because I was tired of listening at the words of men. I was tired of their counsel and their thoughts and their fodder. And the tunnels and the burrows, as it were, that I dug into the Word of God to find healing for myself became cisterns for wells of living water that begin to bless other hurting people all around this nation. There are biblical words and concepts that have so much life in them that they are stronger than therapy, greater than psychology, reaching deeper than psychiatry. They are able to calm the rapid beating and the stress, the stressful hauntings and flauntings of the enemy that would come against you to overwhelm you. He is the only one I know who can speak a word now that goes back into your past and heals your yesterday, secures your today, and anchors your tomorrow. He is absolutely awesome. One of the things that really excited me about God was to begin to realize that He is sovereign and that He is auspicious that he is in control and that he has absolute power. It was interesting to me to find out that he foreknew me, that he knew me before I was born, that my mother and father did not get their first look at me. They were not the first ones to see me, that God had searched me before there was a where or when or this or that, that he had chosen me, that he had monitored my mother's pregnancy, that he had secured me, that he had protected me in the womb. That in fact, before he had formed me in the belly, as he said to Jeremiah, he says, I knew thee, I ordained thee, and I sanctified thee to be a prophet unto the nations. I did it before that you might be, all right? Before speaks to the past, to be speaks to the future. He said, you are going to be what I have prepared before, before I formed thee in the belly i knew thee there are no surprises with me god says i already know all about you you will never surprise me your thoughts will not surprise me i know your thoughts while they are still afar off i know what you're going to do before you do it before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee i ordained you you couldn't have been a stillborn i ordained you you couldn't have been term a terminated pregnancy. I ordained you. You couldn't have been an aborted baby. I ordained you. You couldn't have died of crib death. I ordained you. I sanctified you. When did you sanctify me? Was it when I got baptized? Was it when I cleaned up my life? Was it when I got... No, no, no. I sanctified you before I formed thee. When your hands were still webbed in your mother's belly when you were just a bleeping on the monitor I sanctified you before they could determine your gender I sanctified you before your mother began to throw up in the first trimester of her pregnancy I sanctified thee